What is up MFers? Welcome back to another exciting video. You can tell I'm a little bit congested right now, feeling like absolute crap. And to add to that, it is zero degrees outside with a 20 mile an hour wind. Uh, so I took a little break today. I didn't think it'd probably be the best for me to go out and do some ice fishing, feeling the way I am. I'm trying to kind of recuperate, you know, fluids take care of myself for, for once in my life, take care of myself. So we're gonna do an indoor video today. We're gonna do another bait painting video. So in today's video, we are going to paint up two of those six cents curve crankbaits that I absolutely hammered them on down at Lake of the Ozarks. And we're gonna paint them up in two very, very classic, two of the best, most sought after old school pre Rapala wiggle wart colors. Now, if you're a wiggle wart expert, you probably know what colors those are from the thumbnail, but I'm gonna tell you guys what they are here in a little bit. Now to add to this type of video, we are going to take these two baits and next week I actually am planning on going down to the Ozarks. I'm not sure what lake in the Ozarks I'm going to go to yet, but I'm going to be down in the Ozarks and I'm going to use these two baits that I paint up today to try to catch some fish, hopefully. Now they're two awesome colors that I've caught a ton of fish on in the past. Add that to the badass new curve crankbait. We should be cooking with some peanut oil. Now if you like these bait painting tutorials, I want you to go drop a thumbs up right now and I'd love if you'd comment down below right Right now what colors you want to see me paint moving forward. I told you guys on that video yesterday I was going to be heading south. I was actually supposed to be in Texas right now but if you live in the middle of the United States anywhere even down in Texas you know we are getting hit with some crazy cold weather and they had like five inches of snow an inch of ice and so that trip got postponed uh, which Honestly, it worked out for the better. I'm feeling terrible, so it's good for me to kind of hang out at home for a couple more days before I go out of town again next week. I have seriously so many trips planned over the next four or five months, it's going to get a little bit ridiculous in the country, out of the country, saltwater fishing, all sorts of amazing stuff coming your way. Now, one more thing before we jump into the lure painting tutorial video, paint up these couple baits I'd love to go catch some fish on next week. I want to tell you guys this High Life, this Melican Fishing High Life shirt is not going to be available much longer. So I'm going to link it right down below. Go pick one up. I know a lot of you guys have loved this shirt design, but I got a couple new designs coming out uh, that will be kind of replacing some old designs, getting some new fresh gear, fresh apparel out for you guys. So go pick up one of these guys if you haven't had the chance to yet. And without further ado, let's jump into painting these two badass paint schemes. Let's go. All right, let's get this show on the road. Here's the two baits we're gonna be painting today. Like I said, six cents curve crankbaits. You guys saw me use these uh, about a month ago. Absolutely whacked the fish on them. And now we're gonna paint them in two sick, sick craw patterns that hopefully, hopefully moving forward here, we'll get munched. So we're gonna use those two previously painted baits. I had extras in these two colors. And so we're going to uh, throw some new paint on them. Colors you can't get anywhere else except for by yours truly. These right here are the colors we're gonna be using, opaque white. Uh, this burnt umber, detail burnt umber, opaque red, opaque black, uh, detail moss green, and of course our high performance air uh, brush reducer. And uh, I think that's all we're gonna need actually. Like I said, we're gonna do two different colors, one on each of these two baits. They're gonna be kind of similar colors, but they're gonna be different. Uh, and these are some classic colors that absolutely get munched. So let's get started. All right, color number one is going to be opaque white. We're gonna add some reducer to that to get it mixed up nice and evenly and then just like last time we're going to add a little bit of this burnt umber brown to it just to give it that off color white look two drops should be plenty all right so to get this right you want it to be somewhat of an exact color so we i'd say we probably got about 10 drops of white in there two drops of that burnt umber and then some reducer to thin that out uh, but we want to make this a little bit more of a pink color and so you'll see why in just a second so to do that we're going to add like one drop of of this opaque red just to see what it looks like all right, so there it is. It's almost like the, the lightest pinkish brown color you could possibly imagine, and that is going to be absolutely perfect uh, for this base coat. You'll see that in just a second. All right, boom, there it is right there. And for those of you that uh, know your wiggle work colors, you'll be just looking at that saying, yeah, that looks a lot like the base color for the uh, old Missouri crop pre Rapala wiggle work color. That is absolutely correct. That's kind of what we're duplicating today, except I'm gonna do a couple things to make it what I think is a little bit better than that color. So there's a start right there. All right, so now that we got that done, we're gonna fade in just a little light down the middle of the bait. It's gonna give it some nice contrast. We're gonna go really, really light on this though. So I mixed a couple drops of white with that pinkish color that's already in there. And we're just gonna go really light down the side of it. Yeah. 
And that is it right there. It doesn't look like much, but it's gonna have a nice contrast to it when we get finished up. Now we're only gonna use this white stripe uh, down the side. It's not much of a stripe, it's just kind of a fading white color. It's just gonna add a little bit more texture. You don't have to do this part, but we're only gonna do it for one of the two color patterns. The other one, we're just gonna leave that, that solid uh, pink base coat on there. And this next step will only be for this guy right here as well. All right, now the bottom of this bait, I, I mixed in some opaque red with this and it has a nice dark pinkish color. We're just gonna make a stripe the whole way down the bottom of this bait. Just gonna give it a little bit more flash in the water. All right, so there you go. We got a nice reddish pink bottom to it. It's starting to look really, really sexy already. We really don't have that much left on this color pattern, but we're gonna hop in since we got red in the gun right now. We're gonna hop right over to that other bait uh, and do its color as well. All right, so for the next color, we're gonna put on this second bait. Uh, it was opaque red, and then I mixed with uh, like a half a drop of that black. You want a very, very tiny amount of that that black color, and it will darken it just enough. And then I added another drop of that uh, that burnt umber as well. So just enough to make that kind of like an off red a little bit darker uh, more subdued red color I don't like bright bright red uh, but yeah we're gonna we're gonna spray some of that on the entire body of the bait and it's gonna give it a really nice color all right there it is it's got a nice really dark rich red color and that's perfect for the base of this bait so here's what we got so far you know wiggle wart fans will tell you this is a, a good base for a, like a natural red craw which is kind of what we're duplicating uh, and for the missouri craw same as well we're kind of duplicating that as well but um what I don't like about those colors is they have like the squiggly line patterns on the side. You know, you can't argue with something that's caught fish over a very long period of time. Uh, but to me, that that's just, it's not great detail. And uh, we want it to look a little bit more like a crawdad. So we're going to use that same cross stencil we used in the last video and uh, really give it some good detail. That's our next step. All right, so for the detailing on this bait, um, I used Detail Moss Green, and then I added one drop of that opaque white and mixed it together with some reducer. And as you can see, it's like a nice milky green color, which is gonna be absolutely perfect for the little craw details on this. So we're gonna do this first pinkish colored bait. We're gonna line our stencil up uh, right where that reddish pink starts to fade into that lighter pinkish whitish color. Uh, and more so than the last one we did in the last video, on this first shell and on all the shells, we're going to do a little bit more detail work, a little bit thinner line. Uh, we don't want that green to overpower the, the, the color of this bait, which for whatever reason catches a ton of fish. All right, there's number one. Now, just like we did with the last crawl, we are going to let that dry for just a second and then we're gonna repeat this process going back. Looks like we'll probably get one, two, maybe three more shells. Um, and then we'll be on to the next side. All right, there we go, on to the next side. So now that we got both sides finished up with our detail work, we're gonna just take that moss green and we're gonna go all the way down the top back of this bait. All right, that right there is a, uh, a stone cold killer. It's this pinkish, uh, it's called Missouri Craw. It's what a lot of people know, SP90 Missouri Craw, and the Wiggle Wart guys will know that. Uh, but this is like a, a subdued pinkish white color, pink on the bottom with a little bit of red. And then we got these moss green craw colors with the moss green top. And that is, uh, we'll get some black eyes put on this guy and he is going to be ready to slay. For the second color, this deeper rich red color, we're just gonna use black for the detail work for this. And we're not gonna be done with it when we get the black on there, we'll have a little bit left. And so just like I told you guys in the last video, you know, black doesn't need to be thin. This, uh, this opaque black for whatever reason shoots really, really well. And so I'm not gonna thin that guy at all. All right, there we go for that side. Switched over to the other side. All right, boom, there we go. We are done with the craw part, and now we're just gonna do like the last one, except this time we're gonna be a little bit more careful on how much we put on the back. We don't wanna put a ton of back. It's gonna be a little bit smaller line, and I'll show you why. We're gonna add a little bit more detail, and we're also gonna shoot around the, uh, the eyes of the bait here. So there you have it, nice little fade into the back right there. 
and on to the last color. All right, so for the last step for this bait, I put some detail moss green in by itself. We're just gonna add some spots on the back of this bait. So we're gonna go over the whole back. It's not gonna look a whole lot different to you guys. Um, it's probably gonna be tough to see the, the green on there, but we wanna give it a nice green hue on the top, which is something a lot of people don't do when they make like a red crop pattern like this one, but I really like that green on there as well. All right, so that is it. It is really tough to see that on the camera, but there's a nice green hue to that black top, uh, which I think is absolutely killer. And yeah, two very simple cross games, but hopefully these will get choked. So next step is gonna be to add some eyes to these baits, and then we're gonna add the same Plasti Dip, um, clear Plasti Dip top coat, which is gonna give it that nice matte finish. Now, like I told you in the last video, this has to be sprayed on outdoors because there are some fumes to it. Um, so what we do is we're gonna, I'm gonna take these outside, spray it on these, and they only have to dry for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, so I just got these two baits off the rack. They've only been on for about a half hour after putting that Plasti Dip on them, and I'm super, super happy with how they turned out. This Missouri Craw color, um, this one right here, I, I really, really love for actually all different colors of water. It stands out pretty well, as you can see with that pinkish uh, bright color in muddy water, but this will actually work in super clean water. Um, but the main thing I like for this is overcast conditions. I've caught fish in six or seven foot visibility with this, but what I really look for is overcast conditions. This guy's an absolute killer. And same goes for this guy. They, they work in really similar um, conditions. I like overcast, uh, but especially darker colored water for this bait. Whenever you can get any watercolor that's like one foot to two and a half foot visibility, a little bit of wind, maybe stirring some mud up or like a wind blowing bank where it's a little bit uh, muddier water, this red craw color is absolutely killer and I hope to show you guys that this next week. Now if you guys think these turned out badass, go leave a thumbs up right now and like I said, comment down below what you want to see for colors moving forward. So as you guys saw, those are two super, super simple cross schemes to paint up, but they are going to be deadly effective. I know that one bubblegum, weird looking Missouri craw color doesn't look like much now, but I can almost promise you those are going to get chewed those colors have been absolutely badass for me uh, and honestly those two colors have caught some of my biggest crankbait fish fishing some of these ozark clear water lakes so hopefully next week when i get down there we can make those work some magic but thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video today like i said feeling a little bit under the weather so i apologize i didn't get another uh, badass ice fishing video that's coming for you the next three four five six seven times in a row that i go out fishing so be looking forward to those videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.